Success Story of Robert De Niro If you know even the slightest about Hollywood, you would know who Robert De Niro is, even if you don't let me tell you. The prestigious honor and success which Messi and Ronaldo hold in football, Robert De Niro holds in Hollywood. But no one gets lucky overnight. Everyone has a story of hardships. Have you ever heard about De Niro's story? Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we will see how Robert De Niro rises up the ranks of success. Not only that, but everything about De Niro's life. So without any further delay, let's get started. From his early roles in classic movies such as The Godfather 2 and Raging Bull, to his later comedic roles in the movies like Analyze This, De Niro has been a figure of motivation and inspiration for millions across the world. He has been in the industry for over 50 years now, but no one really knows about his struggles, his feuds some of them which he even faces till date. So how did all of this begin? Robert De Niro was born on 17th August, 1943, in New York City. His mother, Virginia Admiral, was a well-known artist, and his father, Robert De Niro Sr., was a painter, sculptor, and poet. De Niro's parents were a very strong couple, but unfortunately, they split up when De Niro was only two years old. He was raised mostly by his mother, as his father spent almost all of his time in the studio. No one had thought that a neglected child raised by a single mother would make a fortune not only for himself but his generations. It was tough for his mother to take care of him, so she took an extra job and started working for Maria Picator's dramatic workshop. That was the first ever insight for De Niro in the showbiz world. He was even allowed to take children's free acting classes. He even used to go to the movies with his father, so his love for cinema developed at a very young age. You can guess what happened next. He developed love for the cinema and polished his skills from the acting classes and he knew he was going to do. Something big for himself. It was no surprise for his parents when De Niro landed his first stage role at the age of only 10 years. Everyone was shocked to see how well the young boy was doing. He played the Cowardly Lion in a performance of The Wizard of Oz. After this, he was awarded a spot at the prestigious High School of Music and Art in New York, where he began learning the skill of acting and performance arts. But this was a high-pressure environment and Di Nero was not used to working in such an environment. So he quit just after a few weeks and returned to public school. When you start seeing glamour and success around you at such an early age, why would you be interested in your regular studies anymore? So, he dropped out of school and joined the gang. The gang was not a criminal gang though, they stayed out of trouble. But due to his time in the gang, he earned the nickname Bobby Milk, a proper badass mafia name which he even defined his career as well. As De Niro grew older, he realized that he is made for acting, and there is no other option. And so in 1960, he enrolled in the prestigious Stella Adler Conservatory and began his training under the renowned acting tutor, Stella Adler herself. Adler mentioned De Niro as one of her best ever students even though she also taught Marlon Brando and Rod Steiger. Considering this, it is indeed a very high praise for De Niro. One of the major reasons for De Niro's success was that he had support from his mother. Most mothers don't like when their sons drop out of school to pursue acting. But his mother saw a spark in him from an early age, and she always blessed him for whatever he did. As time went on, De Niro's talent, hard work and charisma could not have gone unnoticed. Just a few years in his acting training, he got his first movie role in 1968's movie, Greetings. Greetings was a success too, but his breakout roles in 1973's Bang, The Drum Slowly and Mean Streets really did a solid job for him. Mean Streets were his first of many collaborations with famed movie director Martin Scorsese and also the first of many where his street gang experience would be put to the test in his art. But even that was not enough for him to get listed in the history books as one of the greatest of all times. So, we all know what happened next. In 1973, De Niro starred in Francis Ford Coppola's classic movie, The Godfather 2. Usually, the sequel to a successful movie is not as good as the original. But in this case, it was even better. And you guessed why it was even better. Because of our very own Robert De Niro. The Godfather 2 went on to become one of the most successful movies of all time, both in a critical and commercial sense. Not only that, but De Niro won the Academy Award for his performance. 
As well as his Italian street gang experience, he also learned Sicilian especially for the role, and it clearly paid off. But did Nero reach even more heights of success after his role in the drama, Taxi Driver? Starring alongside Jodie Foster, De Niro showed off a dramatic talent never before seen in the world of Hollywood, amazing and terrifying fans in equal measure. But things were not only happening in his professional life, but personal life as well. He fell in love with a woman named Diane Abbott, and they both got married in 1976. He once again got an Academy Award in 1980 for his performance in Raging Bull. Things were going perfect for him until his personal life took a blow. He seems to have problems with the love of his life. And when he could not seem to do anything about their relationship, De Niro divorced his wife in 1988 after a 12-year-long marriage. But there is no shortage of love for the renowned actor. He found a woman named Toki Smith, and the two instantly started dating in 1988. De Niro's trophy cabinet kept on filling with awards and whatnot. Life was going perfect for De Niro. But the actor again had issues in his personal life. He broke up with his eight-year-long girlfriend in 1996 and both took their separate ways. De Niro was left all alone once again. Even though his personal life had been dealt another blow with the breakdown of his relationship with Tookie Smith that didn't stop De Niro from following his dreams and continuing to mark his place, as one of the most well-respected and in-demand leading men of Hollywood. In fact, over the next decade, De Niro starred in pretty much a movie a year, sometimes even more, showcasing the best of his talents, either dramatic or comedic. Not only that, but he was pretty much the lead or at least the supporting character in everything he appeared in. He found love again and married a woman named Grace, but that ended up the same way as the previous two. Even though the two separated after a while, but never filed the divorce. Acting was always his thing, but he always struggled in relationships. As he grew older, he decided not to do any more heavy roles and started appearing in easy roles only. But something really sad happened. De Niro was diagnosed with prostate cancer. That was a huge blow to his career, but eventually he fought it and got over it. He then got back together with Grace and the couple remained together long enough, but then filed for divorce in 2018. Apart from the ups and downs in the personal life of De Niro, his on-screen career is a dream for millions out there. He even received a Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2019. De Niro is 79 years old, but still he is an inspiration to many across the world. We wish him the best health. And well, with that, we would like to conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button. Also, please subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you don't miss out on our future updates. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.